again <laughs> okay i'm bringing you in on what we usually do just i and my sisters we just sit on the bed and we just this and talk about serious issues but in a very <laughs> casual way and we just this and laugh about everything so this is Bilkisu Muhammad, she's my younger sister, but we call her Kisu. Everybody calls her Kisu. People that are cool with her call her Kisu. So Kisu, yes. say hi to my village people now. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today we're talking about um, the, like, if there's benefit in being alone, your alone time. Is there anything that is positive about it? You know, some people say, I want my alone time. <laughs> we always people hear like that. Me. Uh-huh. I want my, <laughs> exactly. I want my alone time. That alone time that people are asking for, is it really healthy? Because today we are going to talk about wellness. This is a beauty and wellness show. But today mm-hmm. we are talking wellness. No, um, no facial. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. We were supposed to have tea, but... We just decided to just leave that tea for now and just, just talk to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. I have a paper here. I'm just going to define what um, alone time is according to verywellmind.com on Google. So, I Googled it. So, according to research... Most research suggests that too much social isolation takes a serious toll on both physical and mental health. But there are benefits to spending time on your own as long as you balance it by maintaining strong and supportive social connections. Do you understand? Just from the definition. Because, yeah, there are some people that will be self isolate forever like (laughs) like somebody that i know here like somebody (laughs) that see this is somebody that anyway let me let me let me allow her to speak for herself but when she's when she's done talking then i'll tell you people what she really does like we're talking really really here oh really (laughs) really for real okay what she really does (laughs) okay so kisu Uh do you think Alone time is a healthy time. Yes. A hundred percent. Okay. So how so? Because it gives you that opportunity to connect with yourself. Okay. It gives you the opportunity to actually know. And funny enough, spending alone time gives you that um, view mm. on what life is, on what you really want in life, on the type of people that you want to associate with, mm-hmm. on what the, the goals you want to achieve, like just being in that space, in that, you know, your own cocoon, my shell. <laughs> it's it's the best feeling. Are you sure that not staying too much in your own cocoon, according to you, in your own shell, mm-hmm. are you sure that that's not like self isolation the one that is not okay like when you are always in your own zone in your own mind okay so there are two things involved yeah for me i see it as therapy okay. whenever i feel crowded mm-hmm. or like too many voices in my head mm-hmm. i just want to shut everything mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. listen inward mm-hmm. what do i want what do i need what do I think? What are my views? Mm. And then I'll compare okay. with the other voices that okay. are surrounding and drowning me. Mm. And then the ones that I see that I relate with, I pick. Mm. But for some other people, they turn it into, like, for instance, when you get depressed. Mm. That's something that really, like, a lot of people go through depression. I know I've been through depression and also and everything. So, but when you're depressed, mm. you tend to start picking all the negatives you remember the small small issues you remember the little moments you Mm. keep thinking and pondering and you keep going down and then you start losing yourself so that's it but for me i feel like when you're getting into an alone time or your own personal time Mm. it's about 
figuring out and redoing your own personal research in order for you to be better for those around you. Exactly. So it's not selfish. Exactly. Now I get your point. See, eh? When you were saying this whole story, I was like remembering when I got married uh, in 2017. But mm-hmm. anyway, let me, we'll get back to, you know, you talked about depression. Mm-hmm. We'll get back to that some other time. You know, it's a very, very vast topic. Something yeah. we should talk about. If we are talking about wellness, you know, we should talk about depression. Mm-hmm. So um, back to where I was. When you were talking about a long time and you were explaining and you said you have to get better for those be, around, uh, those you. around mm-hmm. you. I remember when I got married in 2017, no jokes, I was like my husband's shadow. In fact, not, not like a shadow because, you know, during the day, your shadow will go away. But <laughs> we were working together. We do our trainings together. We have lunch in the cafeteria together. We have... In fact, I scheduled our off days to be together. Basically, she didn't give him breathing space. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm saying. She will not spell my name, please. Don't tell the world my secret. I was just like chewing gum. The guy was like, I want to play football. I want to be a DJ. I want to... He was just looking for ways, you know, to do some things that okay it's just him and his guys although he, he doesn't have like so many guys like that but him and his guy friend or just him taking a walk i don't understand that i'm like did you take me from my parents house to have your alone time <laughs> what do you mean by that see and it took me a while for me to understand that see I, I need my own time and he needs his own time sometimes even like too much it's not even sometimes too much of everything is bad sure so the fact that i was always in his space and he was always in my space it was not allowing the relationship to even have breathing space sometimes allow yourself to miss each other yeah just like he's missing me now because he's not with me <laughs> as we speak <laughs> you know <laughs> We'll talk about that one also later when we're talking about girls trip so we'll talk about that that's a topic for another day so um, talking about this now okay me i feel like my own alone time i use it to that was after i realized i needed to have my alone time mm-hmm. it took me like two years realize that that was after the pen, uh, uh, pandemic mm-hmm. in 20 no the pandemic is not over but lockdown like yes after proper the, yeah, lockdown. Yeah, yeah. so after the lockdown that was 2020 yes in 2020 i realized see, i needed to just take a walk by myself and not see his face for like just some hours not too long <laughs> not too long guys so I just needed my alone time. I needed to go. I realized there are places I wanted to go to mm-hmm. that didn't necessarily fit into the kind of places he wanted to go to. Mm-hmm. So I just got somebody that um liked the kind of things that I like, like my friend, my 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 own village person. <laughs> I'm not saying he's not I'm not <coughs> saying he's not in BM village. I'm just saying there are some things that you might like that other people don't necessarily need mm-hmm. uh-huh. so i just go i me, i like to get i like adventure there are things that i just have to do because this life is short you know <laughs> like me i'm adventurous but with a limit okay yeah she's adventurous but with a limit exactly <laughs> well me i will see a volcano and i will run that way towards the volcano i mean mm-hmm. okay <laughs> because I want to know what's going on and that's how I am. So my husband would definitely be like me. Be like this one. <laughs> Don't go close to the volcano because he knows it's disaster. But me I want to know what if. What if it's not that you know hot. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So what do you like to do in your alone time? Listen to podcasts. Mm-hmm. I'm a reader. Okay. Okay. I love to read. Okay. And then I found out that 
listening to podcasts or listening to audiobooks like joining the fact that i'm reading mm -hmm. and i'm meditating at the same time it's like the best feeling wow. so basically throughout 2020 that whole lockdown period mm -hmm. i was reading podcasts i was reading like listening to audiobooks listening to podcasts mm -hmm. meditating um eating uh you know learning new skills basically all this in your alone time mm -hmm. wow applaud <laughs> i've been applauded they call her. i don't know i'm tired of english i swear to god <laughs> okay so um in my own alone time i like to discover new things that i can do mm -hmm. yeah I like to read. I also discovered that I like to read. I was not a very good uh, reader, but I discovered that I like to read. So I started reading. One of my best books is The Richest Man in Babylon. Hmm. I really love that book. And what else do I like to do in my own time? I just like to do facials too. I like to uh, try out new uh, recipes. I like to get into my head and think like, okay, what else am I good at that I haven't discovered yet? So yeah. it's my um, time I, I really go into is that um, thought process, my mm -hmm. work engine. I, I, I look around, is there something that I have a skill or is there a skill that I have that I'm not using? Yeah, or something that you've not actually found yes, or discovered or discovered so that's what i just do what else do i like to do i like to listen to cool music when the candle is just burning and i'm just possibly i like anything that smells really nice so i can just be in the room put my um Tularota. Tularota is incense in english so that aromatherapy my candle see i have one here of some yeah i just like to light them and just mind my business mind your business you see it's a good thing it's still like a long time mm -hmm. because like some people might say and a long time you don't have to lock yourself in the house and you don't have to turn off the light and stay in the dark it like depends somebody. <laughs> yeah <laughs> because see guys that's also another story or another topic because me i love lights lights give me joy but she she likes to stay in the room quiet no light on yeah just see the silence <laughs> just now <laughs> no <laughs> another thing that we like to do or i like to do in my own alone time but still we do it as a group is dancing yes listening to loud music very loud dancing very, very loud. and sweating and just being happy that you're alive and funny enough it, it doesn't even have to do with the crew mm -hmm. like the yeah. one woman party, party. exactly we do it's, that all the time <laughs> i can be doing mine in my room she's in her room my mom is somewhere else like my other sisters are other places and then we will do video call and make it so yeah. <laughs> you see we it's do fun. this all the time it's fun yeah we do that all the time so so are we going to wrap up by saying that alone time, time is healthy. healthy yes very healthy she agrees that alone time is healthy i also agree that alone time is healthy but there's a limit do not isolate yourself socially mm -hmm. try your alone time for some time and then have a village like mine uh -huh. if you don't have a village join my village join <laughs> bm village exactly <laughs> we're accepting people or everybody all kinds come as you are no judgment at all, at all. <laughs> okay guys thank you so much for watching this particular um episode Although we have not said um, tagging, we just started. Mm -hmm. We're still getting used to it. But thank you for watching. We'll still get back to you on other lovely topics such as this one on BM Village. Bye from Baraka and from Kisu.
Don't forget to subscribe. Yes! <laughs> Please subscribe! <laughs> Thank you.